أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم dear students in our previous lecture while talking about the practical steps and planning for crisis management organizations and taking into consideration the allied aspects of this problem we were discussing establishment of a control room or a coordination room and we spoke about certain information that we must have readily available in our control room we were talking about the people or the representatives of the associated services and departments their names addresses then we had talked about the resources where are they located how much time would they take to reach us and last of all we talked about the traffic problems now we considered the traffic problem is a very serious problem and today in this lecture we'll proceed little further remember dear students we are now talking about planning at planning level what all should we take into consideration how should we go about planning what all we require to take care of at planning level because sound plan is half victory as says the famous war thinker clausewitz well managing the crisis is really fighting a war and we can only fight it to victory we have planned well you see your control room whereas it had all that information which we talked about yesterday in addition to that it must have many more things and today we'll briefly go over them just look towards the slide it says known trouble spots in terms of what there can be possibly some spots which can become a source of trouble for you when you are in the process of managing your crisis so you must take care of them beforehand what are possibly known trouble spots and from what aspect from what view point from what dimension and angle look the first thing is problems during implementation of plan now those problems which can hinder successful implementation of the plan that you have chalked out what's that it includes lot many things not one partially we have talked about these things as it's my way to convey the information to you that what all we have to discuss in detail i keep touching it before time very sketchily not in detail so that when we come to explain or understand 
that point, you assimilate it easily and comfortably. So when we are implementing our plan, and we are now required to physically and mentally get mobile and manage the crisis, just imagine in your mind how many resources you would be requiring to ensure that they reach your place. And that we have repeatedly talked about. It may be the supporting vehicles, the supporting people, movement of certain commodities, movement of certain staff pertaining to particular aspects of life or aspects of crisis. So unless they reach on time, on the required place, there will be a problem. See the next thing. Escalation of crisis. Now, at right at planning level, in your control room and in your headquarters, you must have prepared plans for this. But if crisis, let's assume, have occurred resultant to some natural calamity, some unexpected natural happening. That's nobody's fault. Well, earthquake is one of the classic examples which keeps happening. Likewise, there are many other problems like the floods, like the storms which we have been talking about. They occur due to nobody's fault. But when the sufferings come, then there are people to exploit the situations. When the sufferings come, people are very, very retaliating. They become emotional. They can even be exploited. And the crisis can give birth to other crises. This is what we say, escalation. Bohran बढ़ जाता है, वसी हो जाता है। एक बहरान तो चल ही रहा है, लेकिन अगर हम उसको एक required span of time, एक मक्सूस वक्त के दौरान मैनेज करने में नाकाम हो जाते हैं, तो वो कोई और dimension भी उसमें add हो सकती है। for example, as I quoted you the example of earthquake, there will be so many people talking negative about the arrangements or the things that have been done. Criticism is acceptable, but unauthentic so-called criticism is, as a matter of fact, exploitation and exaggeration that creates tremendous problem and it escalates a particular crisis. Yahan aapko ye plan karke rakhna hoga ke agar is tarah ki crisis paida hoti hai to un mein bad jane ka, phail jane ka wasi paimane par, wasi sata par kya imkaan hai? What are the potential probabilities and possibilities of escalation in a particular type of crisis. If the flood erodes away a certain area, people would be suffering definitely. They might as well migrate to save their lives. Maybe some property which is movable but if they enter the other areas, now they are hungry, they are resourceless, but they have to live. What should you expect? There can be some problems in those areas where those people have gone. It 
keeps multiplying each other. For those people upon whom are they now dependent, it isn't their natural duty. Of course, morally, ethically, or keeping in view the values, religious teachings, it is duty of every human being to help his brethren if they are in a bad situation or in a test. But then this is not an obligation. And always see the mental level of the people. That's from where the whole problem initiates. And that's from where you can control the problem. Mind is the ultimate weapon. And that is true. There's no doubt about it. So, aapne jo mansuba bandhi ki hai, usme is baat ko bhi yakini banaye, ke jo buhran, jis se aap nabardaaz maa hai, wo koi aur shak lihtiyar na kar le. Usme kuch aur dimensions add na ho jaye. Koi aur pehle uske bad na jaye. To wo, agar bad na shuru ho gaye, then there is no end to it. Uski contingencies ko work out karke rakhye. The next point, if you see in the slide, it says, mob mentality. Now, what's a mob? Ek purjosh hujum kya hota hai? It's a blind wave of a flood. Ye ek aise logon ka hujum hota hai, jin mein se 99% logon ko ye pata nahi hota ke wo aisa kyun kar rahe hai? Why are they indulging in agitation? Why are they indulging in destruction of property? Why are they creating such a human cry? In fact, many of them are very innocent or ignorant. Better would be, we call it unaware. Unhe pata hi nahi hota. Or kai jagon pe आपने देखा होगा खेल के मैदान में भी मिसाल के तौर पे मेलों ठेलों में या जहां सियासी जल से जुलूस होते हैं या कोई गैदरिंग होती है तो किसी एक शख्स का एक जज्बाती नारा पूरे क्राउड को एक एक्टिव मॉब बना देता है और जब वो मॉब रिएक्ट करता है तो नन ऑफ देम इज क्लियर why are they reacting? And they don't know in what way to react. And most of them, they don't know against whom, what and why are they reacting. But they do react. And by the time the things become clear to them, the damage is already done. So, you have to see that in crisis, there is no such thing that a mob creates a mob. और मॉब की मेंटेलिटी को आपने अपने प्लान्स में इंक्लूड करके रखना है उसको कैसे द बेस्ट वे इज टू टू प्रियम्प्ट टू इंश्योर दैट मॉब मेंटेलिटी डजेंट कम इन टू बींग बट इफ इट हैपन्स देन व्हाट व्हाट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स व्हाट मेथड्स यू आर गोइंग टू ओ to use or implement in order to expected losses or damages which can occur simply due to this mob mentality. Now that's as far as the human beings are concerned. Bahaus se log kainat mein na to apna koi azm na aim na maqsid rakhte hain na zindagi ke saath insaaf karte hain ना अपनी जात के साथ इंसाफ करते हैं वो हवा के दोष पर चलने के लिए होते हैं सिर्फ फितरत से गिला करने के लिए या दोस्तों से या खानदान से माशरे से या हुकूमत से लेकिन हकीकत ये है कि उन्होंने अपनी जात के बारे में ना तो कभी सोचा होता है ना कभी वो स्ट्रगल करते हैं इफ दे आर इन्वॉल्व इन सम स्ट्रगल इफ दे हैव गान थ्रू सम हार्ड वर्क they would have achieved some position, they would have achieved some status, they would have been better people, and probably they would have been wise enough not to join the, the crowds 
or the mobs which have no aim. Well, agitation or reacting against something is very much human nature. We must not deny that. Lekin, aap jab ek slogan ya ek khas mauke par ya ek khas event ki maujudgi mein sirf kisi ek shaks ke naare ke upar apni saari zindagi ke catharsis ke process mein indulge ho jate hain so then you are a mob or since we operate in ignorance with the mob they are also blind and to handle this situation you really need to have very well deliberated plans at hand present with you see the next point it says mobility or traffic problems we have already talked about the traffic problems now here i must remind you once again what we are doing is we are trying to identify the spots where these problems can come up during any type of crisis this is the anticipatory outlook of your planning in fact you are preempting yahan hum un jaghon ka ya un makhsoos ilakon ka ya un makhsoos points ka ek list ek farist bana rahe hain jahan mumkina taur par kisi na kisi wajah se koi problem pesh aa sakti hai there are 101 points in every city where usually traffic gets blocked where usually we come across the traffic jams and then those jams they prolong till hours together ab yahan ye kaam itna aasan nahi reh jata हमने जगहों को आइडेंटिफाई तो कर लिया लेकिन हमें यह भी सोचना है अब कि अगर खुदा न करता ए फ्रिटिकल सिचुएशन अकर्स एट अ पॉइंट वेयर दिस इज द ओनली रूट और दिस इज द ओनली रोड दैट लीड्स टू टूवर्ड्स दैट प्लेस इन केस ऑफ क्राइसिस व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू डू द फर्स्ट थिंग हमें मुतबाद रास्ता कौन सा इख्तियार करना होगा जो लोग ऑलरेडी ऑन द रोड हैं उनको क्या करना होगा दोज हुर ऑलरेडी प्लाइंग देयर व्हीकल्स व्हाट टू डू विद दम एंड हाउ टू स्टॉप द रेस्ट ऑफ द व्हीकल एंड हाउ टू गेट आर ओन रिसोर्सेज मूव ऑन द सेम रोड मे बी हाफ ऑफ द रोड यू कैन गेट क्लियर अप मे बी वन साइड ऑफ द रोड यू कैन ब्लॉक इफ इट्स अ टू वे ट्रैफिक एंड देर आर सर्टन एलाइड प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो as far as the traffic is concerned any mischief can happen any evil minded person can interfere there are many people who just for joy sake create problems and they enjoy this evil habit so kisi ek gaadi ko kisi makan ki chhat se ek patthar maar dena koi mushkil kaam nahi hai but that can also add to very many serious problems so is tarah ki aur bhi jitni possible details aap collect karke apne plan mein rakh sakte hain aur unki remedies bhi mention kar sakte hain you will be at comfort yourself next if you see it says containment of crisis what is the meaning of containment a containment means to restrict the crisis उनको क्राइसिस को या बहरान को एक मखसूस जोग्राफियाई बाउंड्री में महदूद कर देना ताकि उसकी वेव्स बाहर ना निकले उसका वो मैसेज और द हाफ बिंगर्स वॉल्टियर्स दे शुड नॉट कैरी इन हाई जैक दैट सिचुएशन कोशिश ये कीजिए कि जब भी कोई क्राइसिस अगर होते हैं पैदा होते हैं कोई बहरान पैदा होता है जहां वो होता है 
اس کو اس کے ارد گرد کے تھوڑے سے علاقے میں ہی محدود کرنے کی کوشش کریں دیٹس واٹ یور پلان شوڈ بی اگر آپ اس کو محدود نہیں کریں گے اٹ ول کیپ ایسکلیٹنگ اینڈ اف اٹ ایسکلیٹس ڈیفینیٹلی اٹس چیلنجنگ یو سی دا نیکسٹ پوائنٹ آن دس لائف اٹ سیز کرمنل اوبلیگ اپرچونسٹس دیکھیں ہر انسان کے سینے میں درد دل نہیں ہوتا انسان کی جو حیوانی جبلتیں ہیں وہ اس کے ساتھ ساتھ ہی چلتی ہیں ہز اینیمل انسٹنگس اور آلسو انٹیگرل پارٹ آف ہز باڈی اینڈ سول اینڈ وی کانٹ انشور دیٹ ایوری ون ہز وائلڈ انسٹنگس اور وائلنٹ انسٹنگس ہیو بین سبلیمیٹڈ to an extent which is desirable for good or at least acceptable human behavior. تو انسان کے اندر کا ایک موقع پرست جو ہے وہ بسا اوقات خاموش رہتا ہے لیکن جب اس کو موقع ملتا ہے تو ڈیفینیٹلی دیٹ انسٹنکٹ اوور پاورس ہم اینڈ ونس دیٹ انسٹنکٹ اوور پاورس ہم دیٹ مینس He is no more a good human being who is going to be useful for the humanity. Now, when such moments, bohrano ke ya crisis ke, pida hote hain, to sabse pehla pida uthane wala shaks criminal hota hai, mujram peshad nahi hota hai, jo jurm karne ke liye ya apne makasat hasil karne ke liye or for the material gains. or for money or lust or any kind of inhuman desire, he will try to jump in the situation and benefit from this situation when total chaos and confusion is prevailing all around. Yeh mein criminal ki baat kar raha hoon. Criminal kaun hota hai? Criminal ki ڈیفینیشن یا اس کے خود دربا کا تعین کرنا ایک مشکل کام ہے ہر وہ کام جو انسانیت کی کسی نہ کسی حوالے سے انسلٹ کرتا ہے انسان کو ضرر پہنچاتا ہے نقصان پہنچاتا ہے انسان کی عزت و احترام کو مد نظر نہیں رکھتا اپنی حوث یا لالچ یا کسی قسم کے مادی فائدے کو سوچتا ہے وہ کرمنل ہوتا ہے اس کے نزدیک کسی کے سینے سے نکلتی ہوئی چیخ کوئی معنی نہیں رکھتی کسی آنکھ کا آنسو اس کے لیے کوئی معنی نہیں رکھتا کسی بیوہ کی پکار یا کسی بچے کا رونا یا کسی بھوکے کو دیکھنا اٹ از ام مٹیریل فار ہم از اونلی کنسرنڈ ود از اون گینس He won't mind even to kill a person because he is consciously a dead person who is operating in the human society. We have to be very, very watchful of these elements when the crisis occur and we are trying to manage the crisis. Now, in every area, many people are identified already as criminals. Their lists are there. There are gangs. There are people who have that reputation. There are incidents which have identified certain people. That information also you must have. And you must have the information talking about what kind of crime is more popular or takes place at a certain location. Crime ke bhi ilaqa jat hote hain. کسی جگہ پہ لوگ مویشی چوری کرنے کو پریفرنس دیتے ہیں کسی جگہ پہ کرمنلس بزنس ایریاز میں شاپس کے انتظار میں رہتے ہیں کہ وین کین دے ہیو دیر اینٹری سم ویئر دا منی اسنیچرس آر دیئر یہ جو ہمارے اے ٹی ایمس لگے ہوتے ہیں آٹومیٹک کیش ڈرال کے لیے They even mark these areas 
they spot these areas, they stand there. They also know okay, what is likely to happen where. They also plan like the crisis manager plans. And they expect and pray for the occasions for which a crisis management manager always prays they should not happen. So, ये सारी चीजें ही आपको बड़ी तफसील में study करके इनको अपने पास अपने plan में महफूज करके रखना होगा ताकि आप इन लोगों से सबसे पहले निमट सके Second, the word I have used is opportunist. Now, opportunist is not a real professional criminal. वो कोई पेशावर जुराइम पेशा तो नहीं होता लेकिन एक मौका जब उसको मिलता है एक अपॉर्चुनिटी मिलती है तो बहुत बड़े बड़े शुरफा जिन्होंने जिंदगी में शायद कभी कोई इनह्यूमन काम नहीं किया होता वो भी उसमें शामिल हो जाते नाउ यू मस्ट बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ मैनी डायमेंशन अ वेरी स्मॉल क्राइसिस कैन हैव and how difficult it is to manage all these crises which we just read as a small news clipping in a newspaper and before evening we forget about it just imagine the people who are responsible to redress all these complaints these injuries to control all these problems how many dimensions they have how many difficulties they would be having that is why early planning as it is said is half of your victory so if you have not planned beforehand certainly you are going to lose a lot certainly you are asking for more troubles and for more problems that's why at every level you must have plans to deal with the expected or the potential crisis and what can be those levels the levels we have already discussed when we were planning the organization i just see the slide it lists the points for you it says plans to handle various types of potential oblique expected crisis this is the first type of plans which you have where the potential or expected crisis can occur to deal with them you must have a plan at every level what will happen at national level at provincial level at divisional level at district and tehsil level and on the spot at operational level or implementation level the next point is contingency plans the contingency plans kya hai ke aap ek hi plan bana ke to us pe sabr shukr karke nahi baith jayenge balki maybe aapko do teen plans banana padenge ke agar yun hota to phir kya hoga agar yun ho jaye to kya hoga if it happens like this then what will happen so if and what you must always keep in mind i'm not going into greater details because we still have a lot to study see the next thing it says alternatives oblique flexibilities aapka mansooba or the plan that you are talking out it should not be hard like a stone which can only be broken and not mended uske andar mutabadil cheezein bhi honi chahiye हर चीज का आपके पास मुतबादल होना चाहिए यू हैव टू वर्क इट आउट यू हैव टू क्रिएट वन एंड देन यू हैव फ्लेक्सिबिलिटीज ये ना हो कि जी वो कागज पे तो ये लिखा था कि यू हैव टू रीच द फायर फाइटिंग पॉइंट यूजिंग रूट ए एंड इफ द रूट ए इज नॉट अवेलेबल देन यू मस्ट हैव अल्टरनेटिव रूट बी दिस 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 रूट सी this 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 and the person who has to reach at the point at the spot he must be knowing these flexibilities agar aap ek hi cheez ko ek sahifa bana ke 
کے بیٹھ جائیں گے یا خانہ پوری کر کے بیٹھ جائیں گے تو ریسٹ شو یو ہیو ناٹ ڈن یور جاب تو فلیکسیبلٹیز اینڈ الٹرنیٹو مسٹ آلویز بی دیئر جسٹ سی اے ویری کامن ایگزامپل آف یور لائف آپ کے ایریاز میں جب سڑکیں بنتی ہیں تو دا گڈ کانٹریکٹر اور دا گڈ کنسٹرکٹر فرسٹ میکس دا الٹرنیٹو ڈائیورژنس یہ پل ہے اب یہ زیر تعمیر ہوگا تو اس سے پہلے ہی ایک ڈائیورژن بنا دی جاتی ہے سو دیٹ دا ٹریفک ڈزن گیٹ جیم ڈاپ غلطی سے اس ٹوٹے ہوئے پل پہ ہی نہ کوئی چلا جائے اینی تھنگ کین ہیپن اینڈ اٹ کین کریٹ اینی ٹائپ آف اسمال اور بگ لیول کرائسس یہ میں نے بہت چھوٹی سی مثال آپ کو دی تو متبادل الٹرنیٹوس فلیکسیبلٹی یہ بہت ضروری ہے آپ فار ایوری پلان ایون فار یور اون لائف ایون فار یور اون کریئرز ایون فار یور اون فرینڈشپس اور یور ڈے ٹو ڈے سوشل انٹریکشنس یو مسٹ ہیو الٹرنیٹوس ود یو میں نے آپ کو بہت پہلے بھی کسی لیکچر میں غالب کا شعر ریفر کیا تھا کہ وہ آج تک کیوں زندہ ہیں اور لوگ ان کے ان کو کیوں پڑھتے ہیں تو اس کی وجہ انہوں نے یہ خود ہی بتائی تھی کہ وہ ہر ایک بات پر کہنا کہ یوں ہوتا تو کیا ہوتا اف اٹ ہیپنس لائک دس دین واٹ اف اٹ ہیپنس لائک دس دین واٹ جسٹ واچ اگینسٹ اٹ وین یو آر ہیونگ یور پلانس ایٹ ایوری لیول سی دا نیکسٹ تھنگ اٹ ڈزن فینش ہیئر اٹس از ریہرسلس یہ ہمارا سب سے ویک ایریا ہے ان آر پریکٹیکل لائف آلسو ان آر انڈیویژل لائف اینڈ ایٹ ایوری لیول ویئر ایوری وی آر کیا آپ نے کبھی کسی انڈسٹری میں یا کسی رش ایریا میں یا کسی بزنس ایریا میں اس کمیونٹی کو ایسی چیزوں کے خلاف ریہرسلس کرتے ہوئے دیکھا ہے جو وہاں پیدا ہو سکتی ہیں کریٹ ہو سکتی ہیں پیپل جسٹ لاف آؤٹ اور لاف ایٹ اٹ یہ کوئی ہنسی مذاق والی بات نہیں ہے اٹس اے ویری سیریس میٹر اگر آپ نے کسی شخص کو جس کا کام فائر فائٹنگ وہیکل کو آپریٹ کرنا ہے یہ نہیں سکھایا اور کئی دفعہ کئی پلانس کے بارے میں اس کی ریہرسلس نہیں کروائیں اس کو پراپر اسی طرح سے ڈریس اپ کر کے اکوپ کر کے پریکٹیکلی آن گراؤنڈ اف یو ہیو ناٹ گاٹ اٹ ڈن ریسٹ شو دیٹ ہی از اے مینٹلی ریلیکسڈ پرسن اینڈ ایون آئی وڈ سے انکیپیسیٹیٹیڈ ٹو پرفارم دا رائٹ جاب ایٹ دا رائٹ ٹائم آپ نے اتنی ساری چیزیں بنا لیں پلان کر لیں کوآڈینیشنس کر لیں سارا کچھ کر لیا لیکن جب تک آپ ان کی ریہرسلس نہیں کریں گے آپ کو اپنے پلان کے افیکٹیو ہونے کا پتہ نہیں چلے گا کہ ٹو واٹ ایکسٹینٹ یور پلان ول سکسیڈ ٹو واٹ پرسینٹیج ول اٹ سکسیڈ فورٹی پرسینٹ ول اٹ سکسیڈ سکسٹی پرسینٹ ول اٹ سکسیڈ ایٹی پرسینٹ اور اٹ ول بی ٹوٹل فیلو اور اٹ ول بی ٹوٹل سکسیس ریہرسلس کا ایک بہت بڑا ایڈوانٹیج which I'm stressing by design, is that all your flowers will come before you in a very crystal clear manner. جب آپ کسی کام کی rehearsal کریں گے, ایک باقاعدہ plan کی rehearsal کریں گے, تو تمام کے تمام مسائل جو آپ کو اس وقت پیش آ سکتے ہیں, وہ سارے آپ کے سامنے آکے کھڑے ہو جائیں گے. And now is the time when you can rectify those problems. when you can take care of them, when you can incorporate amendments or ensure that do's and don'ts are clear and you can also frame more better clear orders and instructions. Rehearsals ka matlab yeh nahi shayad aap yeh soch rahe hoon ke agar hum ne ek bade busy bazaar ko yeh samajh liya hai ke wahan It's, it is a potential crisis spot, so we can go to rehearsal. Well, you can't tell all those people to stop and also do not create an alarm in that area, but you can have the alternatives just for testing your plans which you have made.
And remember that if you are a student and if you rehearse how to solve a paper, you tell somebody or you frame yourself 10 questions and solve them in three hours. And if you appear in the exam after a week, you will be at a much, much better position than the candidate who hasn't gone through this rehearsal. اسی طریقے سے آپ نے کہیں انٹرویو دینے اگر جانا ہے تو آپ ایک ریہرسل کریں دو کریں تین کریں چار کریں اینڈ کیپ امپروونگ یور ایکسنٹ کیپ امپروونگ یور ڈلیوری کیپ امپروونگ یور میتھڈالوجی یور آئی کانٹیکٹ ہاؤ ٹو سیٹ وٹ ٹو ویئر وٹ ناٹ ٹو ویئر پیپل ول ٹیل یو یو ول بی اے مچ بیٹر اینڈ مور کمپٹینٹ کینڈیڈیٹ فار اینی ٹیسٹ It's the rehearsals which really make you perfect. And if you don't do the rehearsals, then of course, you should not expect that mere putting the sentences or putting the concept on the paper and few thought of drills or procedures, you will be succeeding. No, you will not. Make sure that this culture is introduced in your personality and at every level even from the school level or the departmental level or what level we have. That's enough. If you just try to have an experiment in your own life also, in your own little mahalla, in your own little uh, village or in a particular locality, you will find the advantages. Masla sirf ye hai, jo maine pehle bhi taskra kiya, it's the mental attitude. When we don't take the things seriously, then time doesn't take us seriously. When we take the rehearsals or the kind of things we understand as a joke, then when it comes to the real time, that time also does the same as a joke with us. So take it seriously and have a So take it seriously and have a practical outlook and have a practical orientation, thinking, and implementing it also and rehearsing it before the time comes. Let's see what's next. It says pooling up of resources. I think we have talked enough about it. Har level pay, starting from the top to bottom, whatever resources are required at a specific critical point or location, how and where From those resources come, ان کو آپ نے پول اپ کیسے کرنا ہے کس کے پاس کیا ہے ممکن ہے کہ ایک ہی طرح کے ریسورسز دس ڈفرینٹ آرگنائزیشن کے پاس ہوں اینڈ یو وانٹ ٹو میک یوز آف آل دوز ریسورسز بیکاز لیس دین دیٹ یو کانٹ پرفارم یور ٹاسک سو نا یو دس از کالڈ پولنگ اپ یو ہیو ٹو کوآڈینیٹ ود ود ایوری ون ٹین ڈفرینٹ پیپل Ten different departments, ten different organizations, in order to have your resources at one point. This means that you have to put all of them and put them in your hands. No, we have talked about coordination. We are talking about plans. We are planning and we are doing our own rehearsals. We can do it again and again. We can do it in one segment. We can do it in one segment. We can do it in one segment. We have to launch in the big operation. Because people have other commitments also. They have their designated uh, duties also and they have to perform those things. So we can always find time. But if you have intentions to do a job, you can always find time to do that. If you don't have intentions and determination, then of course you will never have time in your life. Remember that a person who doesn't have time for exercise to take care of his health exercises rehearsal he has to find time for the hospital the hospital will find time itself and then there's no alternative left therefore beforehand go for these things next point on the slide it says alert levels now this is something which again very important maybe this is also new i may tell you and point it out When the new things enter in our life or in our society, 
most of the times we don't take them seriously agar aap un taqazon ko sanjeedgi se nahi lenge jo hamare masail hain aur jinko hal karna hamare liye ashad zaruri hai to wo kabhi hal nahi honge lihaza ye jo cheeze hum amli taur pe kar rahe hain हम अपने घर में भी छोटी छोटी मसाइल के लिए रिहर्सल्स कर सकते हैं और उसको ये कह के भी बहुत सारे लोग उड़ा देंगे मजाक में कि लो जी हम आप अपने घर में भी आप रिहर्सलें करना शुरू कर दें व्हाट इज दिस एजुकेशन बट दिस एजुकेशन इज रियली दिस एजुकेशन इफ यू हैव अ वेरी गुड क्राउड ऑफ मॉस्किटोज अराउंड योर हाउस यू शुड नॉट टेक इट वेरी लाइटली यू आर बाउंड टू सफर फ्रॉम लेरिया and if you suffer from malaria then you have to take quinine and it's very bitter to swallow okay alert levels pehle hi din jab aapke ghar ke kareeb ek jauhar banna shuru ho gaya hai and you know that mosquitoes are going to dwell here they are going to breed here better start taking care of it this is the first level of alert alert ka matlab ye hai ki ye organization it doesn't have to be a sleeping organization it has to be an awake organization with its two eyes always open and with its all senses working together and its all components being active to perform like an engine so that once the the vehicle is switched on all components all parts they start performing their job and the vehicle starts moving within no time अलर्ट क्राइसिस दरवाजा पर दस्तक दे के नहीं आती लिहाजा हमें उनके लिए बगैर देखे हुए फिजिकली तैयार रहना होगा लेकिन इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि हम शबो रोज वो सारी वर्दियां पहन के वो सारा इक्विपमेंट अपने हाथ में लेके और ड्राइवर को सीट पे बिठा के इतना थका दें कि वो शायद फिर अपना काम भी ना कर सके दैट्स नॉट द एम that's why we should establish alert levels level for example assumingly or uh, suggested levels which we can have we are going to talk about them it's not a very serious thing but it's a simple good procedure to preempt or to control limit or contain the crisis or overcome them successfully to first level pe kya karna hoga second pe kya karna hoga third pe kya karna hoga we are going to talk about it the next is says decision making procedures and authority remember decision making is a very difficult task and it should never be taken lightly also there is a problem practical problem which comes up when we are in the process of making decisions authority many people they can challenge you you have got no authority you can't tell me this you can't tell me that these things have to be decided in your plans much before who is authorized to take what kind of decision at what time under what circumstances and who all are supposed to be present or joining him as a team in the process of decision making and then what is the responsibility of everyone to ensure the decision is implemented faisla sazi ka amal ek intahai mushkil kaam hai aur isme sabse bada masla hamari procedural cheezon ka ya hamare status ka ya hamare ohde ka ya hamare zati ana ka ya wakar ka hamesha samne aata hai to ye pehle se bahut wazeh hona chahiye ke agar ye hua to iska डिसीशन कौन लेगा और कौन इंस्ट्रक्शंस देगा या कौन ऑन द स्पॉट ऑर्डर्स देगा और उस डिसीशन मेकिंग में कौन कौन लोग शामिल होंगे और फिर उनकी क्या क्या जिम्मेदारियां होंगी यू हैव टू गो इन टू मच ग्रेटर डिटेल्स एट ईच एंड एवरी स्टेप एंड पॉइंट इन क्राइसिस मैनेजमेंट बिकॉज इट्स नॉट अ नॉर्मल हैप्पी लाइफ डे यू आर नॉट ऑन ए टूर एंड यू आर नॉट ट्राइंग टू ट्रेवल एंड एंजॉय remember this these have to be things have to be put on a piece of paper and rehearsed and then the problems identified 
if required, or amendments, if required, have to be incorporated well in time. What's uh, the next point, the last probably, is existing resources judicially used at all alert levels. Now, you see, when we are using the resources, it has been observed and usually experienced. Very ruthlessly, we misuse the resources. Or there may be potential, if this aspect is not taken into consideration, if the guidelines or the instructions or the set procedures have not been designed for making use of the resources, the resources can be ruthlessly wasted or they can be misused. And that is a national property. Agar ek shakhs ki kamzori ki wajah se, resources ke istamal ka taluk bhi be shumar chizon se hai. Pahli baat to ye hai, ke jo shakhs jis ko aapne ek resource diya hai, kya wo us ki ahmiyat ko samajhta hai? Number one, is he capable of handling that? Is he properly trained for that? Does he understand how much damage he would be creating for the nation when he is not using that resource properly? Uska behtreen istamal kaise usne karna hai? Aur uske baad phir, of course, aapki character strength bhi aati hai. Kya aapko vaktne aziz ki daulat se, iske vasail se, apne vasail se, dosto ke vasail se, kitni mahabbat hai, kitna khulus hai, aapki shakhsiyat ki takmeel kaise hui hai. And then, what I'll advise you, always look towards the Lord Almighty. If none watches you, He does. And He has blessed you with so much. We should not try to at least deceive Him. When we are deceiving somewhere, we are in fact deceiving ourselves. Is ke liye bhi baqaida tarbiyat ki zurut hoti hai. And in your planning level, aapne ye, ye baqaida ek training program bhi Banana hai or usko implement karna hai ke who will be trained in what way at what level. Agar ye nahi hoga, to rest assured, judicious use of the resources would be virtually impossible. Now that's, uh, dear students, all as far as keeping in view certain things at every level of your organization is concerned. آپ نے جو تنظیم بحرانوں پہ قابو پانے کے لیے تشکیل دی ہے اور the organization that you have constituted or organized or coordinated to manage the crisis it has many levels we studied and at every level these things have to be observed in letter and spirit wherever a lacuna is left the lacuna will be there when the practical problem will come up and you have to be there manage it and answer for that. Let's see what all possible levels we can have. Now, there are no hard and fast rules. Also, because of so much of diversity in this subject, because of so many dimensions in this subject and the problems itself. We can have hard and fast rules. If something is decidedly always happening the same way, with same intensity, with same strength, with same challenges, with same problems, with same quantum, same level, of course we can have 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. But in the crisis management, it will never happen like that. Crisis always come with a changed face and you have to get prepared always to cater for and manage the unexpected occurrences and happenings. And to do that, this is what possibly we can take care of. And as I said, the subject is also new in the world and particularly in the developing world. It 
has to get mature. But when the journey starts with one step, it can go up to 1,000 miles. There is no problem. Probably, pos provided if one keeps moving steadily with determination, honesty, and with a love for achieving the aim and the objective. So, as I said, levels can be, you can have in your own, own mind. Exercise your own mind. Believe yourself. Now you have gone through the whole concept. You may have five alert levels. You may have seven alert levels. So there is difference of opinion in many specialists who, who now claim to be specialists in crisis management. Someone has told seven alert levels, someone has told five alert levels, and somebody has gone for two alert levels only. And to my mind, with all I've gone through, with all I've studied, I think three alert levels would suffice because too many levels also confuse you and two less levels make you lazy and do not keep you really alert. Whereas the aim of these setting these levels is to keep everyone alert. And if nothing happens, let's say for a period of one year, it doesn't mean that the organization or its people or its members should go to sleep and nothing is likely to happen. They should always remain with, as I said, open mind, open eyes, and using all five senses very dedicatedly for this particular purpose. So as far as the levels are concerned, we'll establish three levels, let's say. And once again, I'm telling you, you can have your own suggested things and have reasons for that. That's a task for you. You should not only now accept the words just being put in your mouth. You're sufficiently educated. You have sufficient thinking power and assimilation. You should come up with new ideas. Start writing, start analyzing, start suggesting. If, after all, it was somebody who had designed this word or coined this word or invented, invented it, and it was somebody who used this terminology crisis management, and it was somebody who made it a subject, and today you are reading it. So there's no need to fall in any inferiority complex. You may be the one becoming the best crisis manager in the future. And I do have those expectations, and we'll see you, hopefully, inshallah, you will benefit from what all we have discussed today. So my dear students, it was a very important lecture that we talked about and we talked about the things that we must keep ready at every level of our organization and keep amending it, modifying it, according to the need of the time. For this lecture, here we come to the end. Inshallah, we'll make, meet in the next lecture and we'll study the levels or the elite levels. Till then, with all my best wishes for all of you, wherever you are, Allah Hafiz, see you in the next lecture. Thank you.